fellow Pisces, uh, this is Soul. And Pisces, this is your two weeks ahead, uh, beginning October 9th through October 22nd, 2017. Uh, of course, the messages will also be for Pisces Moon and Pisces uh, Rising. Okay, my fellow um, Pisces companions, I hope all is doing well. Uh, so let's begin your uh, messages uh, for the next two weeks. Don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. All right, so Pisces... I'm just off the top of my head getting a feel that I'm, I'm, you know, reading for a Pisces or two that's dealing with possibly an older fire sign. Uh, this could be a parent. This could be a romantic partner. This could be an older friend or someone that you work with. But I have a lot of fire energy here. And the uh, overall leading energy that, that starts your reading is the king of wands in the reverse position. So because it's in the reverse, that means that... Um, Two things are coming up. Let me just speak about the past here. So there is someone, like I has stated before, this king, and the king can also represent female energy. Someone may have let you down or disappointed you. Okay. This could also be the completion of, there's two sides to this card. There is a completion of someone letting you down or not coming through for you. Because uh, I've, you know, Pick up that same kind of feeling and energy when it's the knight as well. You know, even though the knights are the knights in shining armor. But the king can also be that person who comes through as, um, you know, especially when it's showing up in the reverse as someone letting you down. Or, you know, some sort of uh, disappointment attached to, uh, if it is a true fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, male or female. But because it is the king, I'm getting an older type of feel. So it might be an older person around you or some sort of... Other older energy, uh, like I had stated before, romantic uh, friendship it could be someone uh, in the family, like a parent, grandparent. Uh, the completion is for those others in the past. That could be someone that had come through for you. And that whole thing that I just spoke about in terms of um, someone older, someone being very, you know, driven, determined. Uh, to either aid some sort of assistance towards you or this might even be related to a partnership, you know, romantic uh, partnership specifically. Uh, maybe there was a connection with a water sign, younger water sign, Pisces, with an older fire sign, male, female, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So it's multiple things that I'm getting here. Uh, so that sort of more or less ends the um the past energy that I'm picking up, but for you and moving forward for the next two weeks, I just feel that there's still some sort of ongoings and dealings with possible uh, a fire sign, multiple fire signs. It could be the case because I have the seven of wands that sits underneath the uh, king of wands. And uh, from time to time, I will jump around if I'm making a connection. This seven of wands is about, you know, having to do possibly uh, some sort of battles and struggles. This also could lead to some sort of squabbles and arguments, you know, fighting with other uh, individuals. Now, if they're not direct fire signs, they could be other zodiac sign energies that you're having battles and struggles with. If it's not external battles and struggles, then, you know, Pisces, then it might be just your own internal uh, battles and struggles. Absence of any battles and struggles, this could be just some sort of energy um that i'm feeling yeah what <laughs> yeah, let me just get this straight seven of wands it's a physical card of movement so when i i you know get this feel that it's uh battles and struggles maybe it's like you know that's what you've been doing uh with these individuals and again whether or not it's a direct fire sign it doesn't really matter it could be just um any zodiac sign but the energy related to that seven of wands could be all those things that you, you know, had to deal with and dealing with this person. The energy that was required. Think of it that way. Uh, someone needs to take a rest from a fire sign because the four of uh, swords is following the king of, uh, you know, wands in the reverse. Someone needs to take a break from a fire sign. Uh, the swords represents uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Otherwise, this could be just... Some Pisces um, 
trip planning. Okay, you haven't uh, decided possibly uh, where you want to go in terms of taking a time out for yourself. This is a rest, relaxation, uh, more or less rejuvenation type kind of card. It also could be, you know, rest, relaxation within a partnership, but it also could be rest, relaxation, rejuvenation for self, you know, me time, downtime for myself or yourself. So I'm getting in the four swords, if I didn't mention, is in the upright position, is following that king of wands. And I was just getting the feel that there was somebody needs to take a serious break from a uh, fire sign, whether or not they're coming in as older or could be the same age or whatever, a parent, romantic partner, friendship, somebody that you work with, uh, per se. Excuse me. Now it's the Knight of Pentacles that's showing up and that's showing up in the reverse. So then again, we have multiple people here. And so there's some sort of differences going on between a Pisces possibly or differences of opinion could be differences of a different religion, culture, race. Now, I'm not associating it, but it couldn't be tied into a romantic partnership, but denoting that it's not something that is, you know, more or less uh, should be deemed as negative. But the night is in the reverse. So that means that someone else comes across and lets you down or disappoint you. If it's a direct relationship, then it's the, um, you know, possible Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female uh, that's disappointing you. Or maybe, the, you know, you need a break from those energies as well. The nights are always when they're in the upright for me in terms of how I read. Someone coming to aid, rescue, or assistance. Depending on the element that is chosen, this is the pinnacle. So maybe someone in a two-week period of time uh, lets you down uh, when it comes to some sort of financial support. Um, they're not going to be able to you know, be generous towards you. That's what the night stands for in the reverse position. All right. Following that, this is your energy. The knight of pinnacles in the reverse is the high priestess. High priestess shows up and a high priestess for me is always Pisces. So when I was getting some sort of differences of opinion, I usually get that with the uh, high priestess when it shows up because it's related. It's the number two in the uh, tarot uh, numerical um, situation. So it's the number two. And so there's always those pillars, you know, one could be dark, one can be, you know, light, depending on who um does the tarot deck and, and which you know particular tarot deck that I'm using but um, yeah so we don't necessarily we have pillars but they're more or less like um, yeah like, they're like some sort of skeletons or skulls or something one is dark and one is white so there's some sort of differences of opinion possibly uh, coming in uh, for some Pisces this upcoming week this could be related to culture uh, this could be uh, related to racial background. This could be related to some sort of religion. If it's not dealing with those things, because that number two is another person. So sometimes I'll get a relationship type of feel. Uh, and since high priestess represents Pisces and other water signs, cancer and Scorpio, male or female, uh, I'm associating following because this is a major arcana following the night that somebody, you know, lets you down. It's a, it's a person. The knight is an actual person. The king of wands is an actual person. And both of these cards are in the reverse. So somebody disappoints you financially or not there to, you know, lend some sort of support or emotions. Uh, there's some sort of trouble going on here with the king. Uh, and it's just their energy. It's not related to your energy, but you're tired of, you know, having to dealing with this energy. Okay. Because you've dealt with it enough. And you need a rest. Somebody needs to take a break or a rest from these energies. The high priestess is uh, positive still, though, because it represents intuition. So within this two week period of time, I do feel that your intuition will be at an all time high or it will be fine tuned. OK, pay attention to what uh, is ever given to you as a prompt, because it's usually the first thing that's usually given to you is the correct answers. And Pisces are more. I feel that Pisces are more intuitive um, than, you know, Cancer, which I happen to be, and then Scorpio. So pay attention to any prompts this upcoming week. It's going to be in your favor. So at least you can't go wrong with that 
that energy but I still will stick to what I'm saying that there's another person that there's some sort of differences of opinion background culture religious that um, will surface or is surfacing but I'm still not picking up something negative related to that I already spoke about the seven of wands so that could be you know outside of any internal battles and struggles Pisces just you having some sort of increased energy to tackle the things that you need to tackle within this two week period of time whatever you know lands on your plate you will have the energy but some of you just let, let me just swing back here to the uh, the night I mean I'm sorry the king of Pentacle, mm, the king of wands that's in the reverse I forgot to mention that too with this card being um in the reverse position that could be for some of you some sort of decreased passion some sort of decreased energy because just keep in mind wands always are physical cards of movements okay usually they happen and come in quickly so you might not feel as readily passionate about you know whatever the situation is that's going on in your life this is a general reading and then you know feeling less energized it's like some sort of depletion and mind you that these uh, four of swords follows that so it's a need to take a break slow down take a rest period whatever you need to do some of you are planning a trip but you don't know or not sure where you're you're going to go or what your uh, plans are going to entail whether it's going to be a trip by yourself or a trip with someone trip with family so forth all right so the next card that's following the seven of wands is the eight of wands see that's that fire so there's this whole um you know, thing about me picking up energy related to, you know, those fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Outside of those energies, this is a card that is always for me when it's in the upright is some sort of news uh, and good communication coming forward. OK, and this is also to uh, in the upright position, a bit of a surprise or, you know, the surprise could be attached to some news coming in or. Uh, oft oftentimes I get, you know, uh, packages, you know, parcels. Some people are waiting for packages or may have done some sort of online ordering and they're waiting for a package to arrive in the reverse position. This Ada Wan said that that package is still coming, but it's going to be a delay. It may not come on the day that you are expecting it. So it's just, uh, yeah, excuse me. It's going to be a, some sort of temporary delay. And then within this two week period of time. It could be that there is uh, some sort of miscommunication with other people. OK, uh, wrong messages being received, uh, possibly through um, text messages, whatever your uh, means of communications are. It could be that uh, someone is trying to or you're trying to express yourself and it comes across wrong or some other message that uh, is miscommunicated. OK, missed emails or missed phone calls, missed text messages or text messages phone calls emails that have some other pertinent information in there that's sort of like um you know miscommunicated all right so now we do have a night that's standing up and this is the night of swords so like i said you have multiple people here in this two-week reading uh pisces so i feel that there's going to be a great deal of exchanges with others uh again whether they're family members romantic partners or whatever but this night of swords is of course the knight in shining armor uh and the element being the swords that means that there's some sort of decision to be made uh by you or it could be the person uh that could be directly an air sign uh gemini libra aquarius uh male or female that is associated with you all right but this is still good news but also too because it is the knight of swords i always pay attention to uh anything else that's being shown in the card and then we have fire we have fire in the background. So, again, I'm getting that 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 fire feel Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe there's a decision. And then he's, you know, has a red shirt on. Uh, these are very dark cards, but they're they're so beautiful uh, and, and was well you know prepared and made. Um, so I do feel that, you know, there could be some sort of decision to be made. And as I you know, picked up in a another video when the Knight of Swords showed up, now he's not holding uh, the sword. So that means that there's a decision that's about to be made. Usually when the sword's in the hand, you're, you're very decisive. 
about what you're going to do and you use that sword to cut away any uncertainty or you know use it to gain uh, some type of clarity but the sword is sitting off to his right so that means there some decisions about to come up for some Pisces related to either another person or some other area uh, that's going on in your life that you have to uh, make a decision about okay now, last card is the ace of wands yeah so you have practically all wands here ace of wands is in the reverse and i mirror this ace of wands because the ace of wands page of wands and the eight of wands always for me as an intuitive reader come in as an element of surprise news coming in all right so the ace of wands uh because i am mirroring the eight of wands that could be that parcel package that's uh still forthcoming but there's a temporary delay or a change of date of when it's going to arrive uh this is still some sort of element of surprise or news coming in for pisces now it may come in at the start of the two weeks because even though i'm going you know somewhat sequentially here in terms of the reading uh any of this energy may unfold at the start of it could be happening now at the start of the uh october 9th and then so forth but something is on its way aces are always about fresh starts new beginnings so ace because it is the wands is coming in very quick okay so that might be a quick uh, surprise or some other quick um situation this is also a card of adventure so it could be some sort of news in relation to um some pisces taking on some sort of new adventure this is coupled with i'm getting a connection though with the four swords planning a trip possibly a vacation either solo or with a uh, a partner or whatever could be family and then it's uh some sort of adventure or will be some sort of new adventure okay that you're partaking all right so that's your reading pisces i hope it's helpful and beneficial i'm using the um yeah the halloween oracle card uh deck this is a new deck for me and i'm just going to read to you uh what the description says out of the book and what i have chosen for you uh pisces is graveyard all right so uh graveyard underneath i don't know if you can see underneath the wording uh, because of the glare of the lights but it says here unnecessary fear all right so what it says about unnecessary fear is that uh if you pull this card and you know that you fear unnecessarily things are not as as you know as they seem and you can overcome your obstacles the anxieties you have although real should be put aside before they I gotta flip the page here before they haunt you long term instead trust that you know the correct next steps and that you will act upon them now interestingly enough pisces I, i'm connecting this uh, oracle card that i have selected uh, for you with the high priestess here that's the intuition knowing that uh, during this two-week period of time there's a potential of your uh, intuition being uh, fine-tuned or you know just knowing things things coming to you and then you know and then you will properly uh, make some sort of uh, assessments or you know whatever it is corrections it, getting a connection here with the knight of swords of having to make a decision about you know another person or some other area or aspect of your life uh, but it has yet to be made okay all right so pisces this is your uh reading i hope it's helpful and beneficial um as before don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information with that being said i want to wish you all a very safe always emphasizing safety my fellow fishes um you know we have to live but be mindful of your environment and you know the people that you are surrounding yourself with and also sending out a lot of love and light to you until i talk to you again pisces please be well